we echoed out this and it's saying uh, this method is not found now the reason we are having this problem <coughs> excuse me is because we have a controller uh, class called classes and then we have another class in models called classes so these two are clashing so here when we create new classes we are recreating this very classes thingy here now there are several ways you can solve this problem having uh, names of classes that clash like this is the perfect time to use namespaces now if you followed my OOP series you see I explained what namespaces are but I don't want us to go in that direction to avoid complicating this tutorial for people who do not understand what namespaces are but what you would do is you'd create a namespace for this one and for models only and say namespace models like this this way this becomes a class inside this namespace which makes it a different class to the other one so but we won't go that route it will complicate things a little bit so what we will do is instead let's just change the name of the model class here so classes model we just call it my classes or we can just say classes underscore model that's entirely up to you how you want to do it and also this protected i think let's say public instead or maybe protected let's see if that works at all i think it works still yeah so in the controllers in the classes controller let's remove that and instead of classes like this it would be my underscore actually even the file name should change to this so let's rename that file rename to this otherwise we won't be able to find it and what else come back here to the controller and let me select every instance of this and then paste my classes model like this okay so let's refresh now and there we go so we get a different error this time which is good now in here we're going to say oh wait a minute what's the error here base table or view not found so it didn't find the table schooldb.classes not to fear my man we will create the table okay so we go back to our database here and inside db school we want to create a new table so let's click on new table like this let's create an id um, int is okay here will be the class name itself and this will be the user id we also need a school id let's add a couple more we'll need date right and the class id so two more items to add let's add two items there or maybe three no big deal so we have the user id the school id the class id and then we'll have the date what else the class name the class id school user id school id class id that looks pretty much it so variable character for this the class name maybe 30 characters at most the variable character for this obviously 60 since that's what we've been giving it to others 60 same thing over here 60 and here we'll add date time so that we know when this event occurred make sure you select the um, auto increment for the id and primary key as well and the table name is classes then let's hit save okay there we go now we're going to need some 
index for each and every one of these index since we'll be using all of these to search class ID date there we go there we go very nice very nice so if I now come back here and refresh I get this so what's this here no classes were found at this time and then classes not a very good combination I think uh, we didn't think of that so back to the class view um, classes view on this one I will add a break tag since it seems it's clashing with the other thing and it seems the other thing as well is not moving another break tag perhaps no nope. just doesn't seem to work hmm. Hmm. it rose so I should have moved that to the top here I think that would have been better so let me remove those uh, let's see what I have here an if statement okay so let me move the if statement below the table that way I can move this above the opening table let's see if that changes anything at all okay but it doesn't fix that problem but why is that because it's inside the table right so this else statement as well should move outside the table with its content like so and refresh okay what really have we changed then let me add a break tag see if it work this time nope doesn't seem to want to budge but that's okay we can simply move this in here like so okay so let's do the same for schools since we'll have that same problem so where is schools view let me move this all the way to the top there And then I will do exactly the same thing down here. Move this all the way down here. Okay, so that is good. And now if I go back to classes, uh, there were no classes found, but the problem again, yeah, I forgot about that problem. So this wasn't a very good idea now, was it? No because we still need this button here. So, sorry about that whole thing, just undo. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure how to deal with this. Let me push this up, maybe. Actually, I can only experiment on the classes since they are not here. So let me undo this as well here, up to the point where I move that down, yes, and that as well, yes, okay. Okay, I think there is good, let me move this up like so, let's see what that does, classes, no classes were found, add one, okay, that is okay with me. So same thing on screws, same thing there. Alrighty then. So let's click on add school and see what we get. So add new and add new class. So let's add a class here. Now back to our class model here. Where is this classes model? We have school ID and uh, 
Wait a minute. Okay, seems legit. So, first class. Let's create that. Only letters, no spaces allowed. So this shouldn't be the case. So let's go to the classes model. And here where we are matching, let's just put a space between these two, like so. The space can be anywhere there. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's part of the group here, that will be okay. Let's remove the no spaces as well. All right. But in here, you may want to label the classes like class one, class two. So I'll put zero to nine as well. Only letters and numbers allowed. Okay. So first class, let's create. It should work this time. Okay, pretty good. Now, what problem do we have? It's saying a school not found in. That's our bad. If we go to classes view and where is this? Right here. We shouldn't have school. So it should be class. And if I now refresh, there we go. First class, uh, who created it and what date they created that class. Okay, so this is great. Uh, at least we are able to create a class. Schools, classes, very nice. Okay, so let's continue in the next video.